As summer approaches, golf courses get busy. But with tough times, are golfers staying at home and saving their money? KOMUH Jordan Vandenberg is here with more. Jordan. Many mid-Missouri golfers pulled out their clubs this weekend to play a game generally thought of a sport for the well-to-do. If paying greens fee is financial sacrifice for the individual, imagine the risk of owning your own golf course. Trees, rolling fairways, and greenside bunkers, golf is a much needed escape. But to own a course, it takes patience. The golfing business itself isn't as good as it has been in some years past. You know, just the economy with it being slow. Uh, so it's just, it was, we knew it was going to be a battle to, to buy the golf course and uh, uh, make it work as an as a, a entity. Despite the economy, business remains steady for public courses, including LA Nickel in Columbia. We're putting a lot of uh, emphasis on our coupons. Uh, we're running a lot of coupons on our website. You know, we feel like that we are in a, a market for, uh, uh, you know, uh, average American to play golf. I mean, our rounds uh, here is not as expensive to be a member here as it would be to join a private club. You know, we have members here, but we also have public golf. But uh, it's just a more reasonably priced golf than it would be in some of the country clubs uh, in the surrounding area. And as the economy is tough, I think it will be easier for us maybe to compete for those entertainment dollars. I talked to managers at four other public courses, Railwood, Eagle Knoll, A. Augustine, and Oak Hills. They all say business remains steady or good depending on the amount of advertising. Country club managers were less willing to talk. Jim, Angie, back to you. Okay, thanks a lot, Jordan.